So let's do some week three NFL picks. We'll yeah. Go around the horn with we're actually gonna do all the picks since we you um, since we got this going. So we yeah. got Carolina versus Houston. What you got? Uh, Carolina. Oh, I think Carolina yeah. went. I, I think Carolina wins the game. I, I mean, like, um, I, I know it's a short week and everything, but I think Carolina has just the better team, and um, I expect for them to uh, give uh, Mr. Mills some fits. Um, I, I, I would actually say I, I, I would, I, I expect for Carolina to win this game by like ten points or more. Okay. Got Washington at Buffalo. What you got? Ooh, this is a <laughs> tough one. Um, I'm going to go Buffalo in this game. Um, I think this game is going to be close. Um, I don't like the way that Josh Allen has played uh, thus far. Um, I'm going to go Buffalo, but I think this is going to be one of these coin flip games. I think this game is going to be close. Actually, I don't know what the line is, but I would probably take a, I would take Washington and the points okay. for this one, yeah. for the line. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I got Carolina Thursday night. Um, I got Washington winning. Um, I don't even know. I don't even remember the last Big time we, we won. We won it in, uh, <laughs> in, in Buffalo. I have no ever idea, but I'll, I'll I'll know that stat by Friday when we do the Watch the Football Guys podcast. Okay, but it's been it's been a while. I know this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so we got the Chicago Bears going to Cleveland. Who you got? Cleveland. Okay. Yeah, it's even though y- y- your boy Justin Fields is going back to Ohio. Give me, give me the Browns. Yeah, give me the Brownies. Yeah, Baltimore goes to Detroit. What you got? Uh, give me, give me Baltimore. But I think that Golf will. I think Golf will play better this week because he's going to be indoors. He won't have to deal with the elements. Um, I, give me Baltimore, though. I, I think Baltimore wins. I think Baltimore wins the game, and I, I think that uh, I think that uh, Detroit struggles to stop their running attack as well. So, give me Baltimore. Yeah, give me Baltimore. You know, they'll they'll watch the game. Then after the game, watch Healy. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so we got the Colts versus the Tennessee Titans. Who you got? Uh, I'm going to go with Tennessee at the moment. If Carson Wentz can play, mm-hmm. give me, give me, give me Indy because I think Indy, if Carson Wentz plays, I think Indy is going to be a very desperate team. Indy, Indy, I think you can make an argument that Indy and Minnesota are the best 0 2 teams out there and they're better than some of the teams that are 1 1 at the moment. But at the moment, right now, not knowing who's going to play, give me Tennessee in the game. Okay. All right, so we got the Los Angeles Superchargers going um, going midway. They're going to Kansas City and Arrowhead. Who you got? Now, ooh, this is going to be a good game. I know that Kansas City is probably going to end up probably being – they probably – I would say that Vegas will probably make them five or six-point favorites. Give me, give me Kansas City in a shootout. I think the Chargers – Chargers haven't scored a, a, a lot this year like they had 20 against Washington they only had 17 against us I look for their offense to get going I think this is going to be a game I wouldn't be surprised if this game is something like 34-31 yeah give me the Kansas City Chiefs especially Arrowhead it's going to be rocking and yeah. I just can't see the Kansas City Chiefs being one and two um yeah. you know to you know to to end the month of um in, in the month of September yeah, yeah. no it's crazy so um let's see we got the New Orleans uh, Saints versus um, going to Foxborough. What you got? Now, this is a good one. Now, I hate making picks like this, like this early in the week, because I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen. If the Saints get their coaches back, give me New yeah. Orleans in this game. Um, New Orleans' defense is not half bad. And I think that they could give Mac Jones fits. And just the way that Belichick's gonna close is gonna call the game, he's gonna kind of he's gonna kind of turn Mac into a game manager. And they don't really have the out weapons on the outside as well. I'm gonna say, give me the Saints in a bounce back over New England. Yeah. Um, give me the Saints too, because I think I, I'm telling you, because I'm forecasting the future. Because next week is gonna be the big week. Next week is Tom Brady's homecoming. So yeah. you got to think to yourself, they're going to have a letdown. Either they're going to beat Tampa Bay or they're going to 
or or New Orleans. But I, I yeah. think they're gonna be. I think they're gonna be Tampa Bay next week potentially. But just stay tuned next week for that. But give me the Saints in this one. Um, this one. Yep. So we got the Atlanta Falcons versus the New York Giants. And it's at New York, right? Yep. Because guess what? Give- because the, the Carolina Tar Heels are coming to town and packing out that Mercedes Benz Superdome against the Georgia Tech uh, Yellow Jackets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me give get, uh, give me the Giants in this game. I, I like I said before, I, I don't see any. I don't really see any redeeming qualities of this Falcons team now. Um, I do think that uh, the Giants defense, there are some matchups that like Atlanta can take advantage of. But I, I, I think the Giants, uh, I think the Giants win this game. All right. um, yeah, give, give me the give me the New York football Giants. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah, it's just like you said, it's, it don't look good in Atlanta at this point. But, you know, this would be a perfect bounce back if they were to. Um, if they have a bounce back, it would definitely be against this Giants team at this point. Um, so we got the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to Pittsburgh. What you got? <sighs> um, Pittsburgh is one and one, but I think legitimately they should be 0 2. Roethlisberger has not looked good. Um, now, I, this is one of these games where I, I kind of don't want to pick it because I don't know what's going to happen because, you know, Roethlisberger has a has an oblique injury at the moment, a, pec, a pectoral injury, my, my mistake. And Pittsburgh's got a lot of injuries. I don't know, man. Um, the loser's going to go, and it's at Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. Give me Pittsburgh for the win, but I... I, I I wouldn't bet any money on it. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna pick Pittsburgh, but I would not be surprised if Cincinnati doesn't okay. win the game. So yeah, Pittsburgh. Okay. All right. So um call me crazy, but some of all Cincinnati, they've they've been so tantalizingly close to, mm-hmm. to winning these games. Call me crazy. Let, let me be the let me be the lone wolf. Well, we're all lone wolves because obviously we're not yeah. picking the same pick. But anyway, give me the Bengals. Give me the Cincinnati Bengals. I think yeah, they're gonna take and it. Like, like I mentioned, like um this if if I was thir- if this was Thursday, I would I would I would I would probably be giving you a prediction, but like yeah, like I'm just gonna go yeah, with I mean, Pittsburgh for now. But <laughs> I, I could I, I definitely do see Cincinnati I, I see okay. I see multiple ways of Cincinnati winning this game. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Arizona at Jacksonville. What you got? Arizona. Um yeah, the I uh, give me give 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 me give me the give me the Cardinals in this game. Now it will be interesting to see if they have like any. Remember those those Arizona Cardinals team with Kurt Warner? How they would always have the East Coast funks. All of them. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Crazy, so man. yeah, um, give me Arizona in the game. Um, give me Arizona in the game because I just I don't like the Jaguars' offensive line, man. I, I just think that that Trevor Lawrence. I think Chandler Jones. I think I think Trevor Lawrence is gonna get to meet <laughs> Chandler Jones up close and personal many times this weekend. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, he's definitely gonna know what's up with him. Um, Arizona. I think this is gonna be another one where um, they, you know, this is gonna be another Kyler Murray MVP showcase type of game for him. Um, I just like you said, and I think. At this point, Jacksonville, it's so sad to think even though it's just week three of the NFL season, we still got 14 weeks left. Your boy Urban Meyer, I think he got one heart. Half his heart in the East Coast, the other half is um, get ready to go to Southern California. California, yeah, dude, I'm I can like, see that. Yeah, I, 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 could, yeah. I, mean, I could see that happening. I don't and, – and, and the funny thing about it, I would not blame him. I would not be like everybody else who killed Nick Saban, Bobby Petrino. Like, I would I would not blame him if he was to go to USC because he he would have more clout going to USC than being an being in NFL team. Like, no. and like we talked about it. Like, if he can revamp USC, he'll be more popular. He'll be the most popular coach Oh, and team in 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 um in LA, and even yeah. the success of the Rams, and the um the success of the Rams and the Chargers going forward, Urban Meyer still be king of, the king of LA, yeah. Regardless, so yeah, if I'm him, yeah, I, I'm sorry, trouble. I, I'm, I'm sorry, trouble. You you be all right. We we you you get a better coach. Yeah, I am. But I'm going to LA. 
<laughs> like, like what is it? What is it? You know, Jacksonville a little humid. I like LA it ain't humid deal. <laughs> you know, so we'll we, we'll definitely that's be a developing story as as the season progress. Um, but yeah, give me Arizona. We got the New York Jets versus the Denver Broncos. Broncos. I think Broncos win this game easily. I think that um, he had a hard time with Bill Belichick. I hate to see what Vic Vangio is going to uh, – <laughs> what Vic Vangio has in store with him in, in Denver too, man. Denver – Ooh, I, I think this game. I think this game could get ugly. I could. I could see them losing by twenty plus points. I could see them just losing this game by twenty plus points. Yeah, man, this could be a. Uh, this is the the de facto Carolina Bowl. You got Javante Williams and Michael Carter squaring off in a running back duo. <laughs> a duel. Uh, but give me the uh, Washington Football Team in the West, the Denver Broncos. Uh, they'll move to three and zero. So you know, and 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 to my chagrin. At, we did a simulated season. I did have Denver being three and zero, even though that was, I don't think it's a stretch. But yeah. hey, you know it, it, it came to fruition. Yeah. We got the uh, my the tour list potentially Miami Dolphins headed to Las Vegas. The surgeon, Las Vegas Raiders. Who you got? Ah, oh, well, the Raiders got their heart broken the last time. Um, uh, uh, the Dolphins on that game. After, I believe it was after Christmas, and that pretty much ended their playoff hopes. And Ryan Fitzpatrick threw that dime towards the end of the game. Um, I think the Raiders get their revenge in this game. I think I, I, I won't be surprised if uh, I give me give me the Raiders, and I also will say uh, take the Raiders and the points. I would say. So. Um, yeah, I definitely the Raiders, and like you said, that was a beautiful play on on, on a Saturday night in December. Ryan Fitzpatrick, get 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 well, big fella. He threw that that dime to Mac Hollis. What school yeah. did Mac Hollis go to? The University of North Carolina. <laughs> Knew that was going to come in the conversation somewhere, oh, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's yeah. you, it's, it, it. It is a must. It is a must. Any day, any any day of the week, you, you gotta plug this, these UNC guys because hey, we got dogs. You know, people think about Alabama, these other Power Five schools, but Carolina got some dogs in the NFL. But yeah, yeah I, you know, it. got to, got to, got to. Yeah, um, yeah, get, yeah, give me the Raiders as well. I think, like you said, um, who, who knows? Jacoby Brissett in the Miami Dolphins potentially, and and. Because I like even though we talk about tool and that, that rib injury, but it's gonna it's, that's that's gonna linger. I don't like I don't, I can't I can imagine seeing him if he does play next uh, he plays Sunday, he won't be hundred percent. I mean the ribs is the ribs like the ribs are a, a key function to your body and it's gonna linger. So uh, with that being said, we got the potential. I think and like you said, me and you feels the same way. The uh, NFC uh, championship preview. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers go to uh, the luxurious SoFi Stadium. Well, who you got? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go LA in this game. Um, okay. I do think that the, I I think this game is gonna be a really good game. I just think that if you can get pressure from Brady up the middle, that's the key with beating him. Um, that's something that Dallas wasn't able to get on him in that game. So I'm going to go with the Rams um, in that game. Um, I think it's going to be a good one, man. I wouldn't be surprised. Like uh, 27-24, 31-28, I I expect for it to be a really good game. It might be a high-scoring game, but I don't think the defenses are going to, you know, look too bad in the game. But, yeah, I'm taking the Rams in this game. Um, Yeah. Um, give me uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think Tampa Bay is going to win this game. Um, it's another one where I think it's going to be like it's 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 starting to become a collision course because we know Tom Brady going home next week. So I think the Rams going not the Rams, but I think the Buccaneers going to take care of business in this matchup. And like you said, it's oh it's going to be a, oh it's going to be beautiful. And then and also it's, it's actually two homecomings because obviously Tom Brady's from San Mateo, so mm-hmm. it's southern Southern California kid. So he got two co- two homecoming. So you know this is homecoming part one for him, and then homecoming you know his uh, his professional homecoming 
um, on uh, next week. But um, yeah, yeah. So Tom Tom Brady comes back. The Sunshine Kid comes back at, at the at the uh, age of forty four years old, and um, you know makes his you know and, and does his thing against his Rams team. And yeah, um, so Seattle at Minnesota. Ooh, uh, Seattle had a hard time stopping the run. Like, I have a hard time imagining that Minnesota starts 0-3. I'm going to take the Vikings in this game. I know probably the Vikings are probably going to be slight underdogs in the game, but, like, yeah. I think that Seattle has some issues with their offensive line. They, they lost a couple of guys off the season. Um, they lost a couple of guys actually on the game on Sunday. And um, I think Minnesota, I think Zimmer is a, is a really good defense coach. I think he's going to find a way to cook up some pressure to get to Russell Wilson. Now, I think that, like I mentioned before, the Colts, the Colts and the Vikings are better than some of these teams that are one and one. So I'm going to, I'm going to say the Vikings are going to win this game. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got the Minnesota, even though, you know, we, you know, you've got our, our boys out of Seattle, Russell Wilson, uh, mm-hmm. two time, rich time, spatch player of the year. And then I got Dwayne Brown. Um, yeah. Just give, give me, give me Minnesota. I think they, you know, two heartbreaking losses back to back. I think they'll get themselves together in this uh, matchup as well. And uh, shout out to Kirk Cousins. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you got, uh, let's see, we got Green Bay, San Francisco, a Sunday night affair. What you got? Ooh, um, San Francisco, is, they've had some injuries um, with running back. Yeah. Um, I think this game's a toss up. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the 49ers in this game. I think the 49ers are gonna. I think the 49ers are gonna continue to find a way to like, you know, frustrate Rodgers. And like I mentioned, like we mentioned before, San Francisco has been a house of horrors for a Green Bay the last few years, actually. So yeah, yeah, I think San Francisco could take care of business. That's another one where you just look at and they and they just show off their depth as far as um, and like you said. Running back by committed. We all know, like, and I talked about it <laughs> last week on uh, two weeks ago on the show. They even somebody even at my age, I could probably get fifty yards on on that San Francisco um, offensive line. So, <laughs> with that being said, give me the forty nine ers. Yeah. And to round out week three of the NFL season, we have the Philadelphia Eagles versus your beloved Arlington Football Team, <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> well, who you got, JB? Uh, I'm going to go with Dallas in this game. I think that they're at home. Um, Philadelphia, are they, is Jalen Hurts going to be able to throw the ball down the field and consistently be able to score in the red zone? And I also think that that Brandon Graham injury is going to end up looming large. And uh, what's their tight end's name? He's out for the game as well, too. For, um, for uh, Philly? The Eagles. Oh, oh, um, mm, Ertz. Ertz, yeah, Zach Ertz yeah, is out. Yeah, Graham yeah. is out. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the cow. I'm gonna go with the Cowboys uh, in the game. I think it. It'll be a. It won't be a blowout. I don't think. I think it'll be a close NFC East game. So. Yeah, um, and that's why, like we said, it's gonna be the highest grossing, um, as far as that grossing, but as far as viewership of Monday Night Football at this point, um, it's it's gonna do numbers. It's gonna definitely do numbers, but in this game. Um, I got a tie. No, 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 no. No, Dallas will take care of business. The the Austin football team will take care of business. I think they'll they'll win this football game. You know, if you if you call a tie and it happens in a pickle, I think you should get like double or triple the points. Like that should that should that should definitely be like that's like that's like that would be ultimate. If you were digging a tie, like if somebody yeah, does that, that, that's wild. But yeah, <laughs> but you know, you know, that is that would be crazy. So we giving out game balls this week. Um, who are you giving out this week's game ball to? 